Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to the video for Wild Hearts. And today is an exciting one because they just dropped a brand new trailer, a full seven minute gameplay trailer. If you guys caught the reveal the other day, it definitely looked really exciting. But of course, that initial trailer was a blend of snippets of gameplay interspersed with plenty of CG. But today they dropped a full seven minute gameplay, which gives you a good feel of how the game will play. It shows a hunter sort of starting out, finding the monster, fighting it, then of course, recruiting more people to help. So it gives you a good flow for basically how things will go end to end. Of course, admittedly, probably sped up. But, largely speaking, this still gives you a feel for how the game will actually play. So, in this video, I want to run through that 7 minute gameplay. This is not a live reaction. Instead, I just want to talk about it because I've already seen it. I like what I have seen. So, let us discuss. If you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you guys have got any questions. Where do you stand right now? And of course, if you are excited for this, definitely do keep it locked because we will definitely be bringing you guys some more stuff very soon. So to begin with, the hunter itself, of course, uh, walking out in the world, I will say it just initially looks really, really nice. I mean, admittedly, I do always love these scenes where you just kind of walk over a cliff, you see everything in the distance, but I do love this sort of evil villain style, uh, sort of old school helicopter. It's really cool. Of course, this is one of the Karakuri. They've described sort of Karakuri as these uh, like crafting real-time objects that you can actually use in game. They do come in like a variety of different categories. You have some of the sort of quicker ones you can use like you've sort of seen there. And they said there are also more permanent ones like this one here, which is basically like a uh, big sort of a uh, grapple or like a wire line where you can effectively fire it into a location. Now, admittedly, in the gameplay, it looks pretty free. I'm not sure whether that is like completely free. You can fire it absolutely anywhere or whether there are maybe certain fixed locations. But regardless, you know, the fact is you fire that there and you then have a very quick way to navigate the environment, which looks really, really cool. Definitely uh, do like that. Like the idea of being able to sort of uh, customize almost like your own shortcuts. And of course, you also saw there the hunter using uh, the box to basically jump onto a wall. And we then have a sort of a clamb animation, very sort of reminiscent with or sort of of Breath of the Wild. Then straight into gameplay, fighting a King Tusk, the uh, ball drone, should we say, big old boar guy. Definitely liking how, uh, you know, straight away off the bat, seamlessly weaving the sort of uh, crafting and sort of building the Karakuri into combat, basically just sort of a uh, dropping one, leaping off, seemingly sort of some kind of jump attack as well, which is really nice. I will say combat, again, initially sort of from the gameplay, looks really cool. I like how you can, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure how that happened right there, but imbuing the blade with flames also looks very, very good fun. And of course you see in that situation, kind of a, almost looked like a combination of different things. You had the little box with a spring on the top, which then allowed the hunter to launch forward. And then of course we have uh, the death. So uh, this, you know, if you guys have seen Monster Hunter trailers before, I feel like they're always designed in that way to basically show the player journey. So of course you're supposed to die because in this situation, the next scene is uh, somebody coming to help. But again, quickly going back to sort of uh, some of the stuff we just saw, I do like how very quickly you can just sort of drop these uh, objects in the field and they definitely don't sort of seem like they impact things too much and they're like they're not necessarily getting in the way or just like cheapening the experience they actually seem to sort of uh, almost look pretty organic which actually is really really cool of course we also see the hunters uh wailing on what appears to be like a random small creature and we do of course have a carve animation very sort of reminiscent of monster hunter with some of the items that you obtain on the right The next thing we see is uh, some sort of like pulse, which I'm guessing kind of hunters can use to, you know, you can sort of see this like spirally like line, almost like um, fireflies, fireflies, what really, what's the word I'm looking for? Wirebugs, not even wirebugs, scout flies. I finally found it, I found the word. Basically, it seems like they are leading them towards the monster. And again, we also saw another one of those uh, wire lines, seemingly like another way to sort of create a shortcut. So again, there definitely seems to be some customization in where you can place it. But now we have two hunters, one wielding the uh, longsword, which did just in that moment change into a sort of chain blade, which looks really cool. And the other hunter is wielding the umbrella, which is definitely a very unique style of weapon. Also, just the whole like, environment here. I really dig it. Like I'm loving the sort of a uh, sakura tree. I mean, it's not technically a sakura tree because it's like a big old like oak tree. But anyway, regardless, point is those cherry blossoms looking real nice and uh, definitely liking the environment. But here we have like another Karakuri. This one is the hammer one we see from the trailer. I really do like that one. Like that one is uh, it is kind of equal parts hilarious, comedic, but also seemingly very useful. I also think there we go, that kind of was the actual uh, answer to my question earlier. We did see a uh, 
flaming sort of contraption on the ground, which then the hunter was able to attack through, and that seemed to be the thing that would alight the blade. So that is pretty cool. The sort of a uh, way your weapons can interact with the um, with sort of elements in the environment. And we then have a giant wall that seems to have uh, launched the creature backwards, which is kind of cool. Obviously, it's a boar charging into it, so uh, seemingly uh, other ways to basically block block the attacks, which is kind of cool. Of course, we also get confirmation that parts can break off. We see that the uh, one of the tusks has been broken off. It also had like a glowing line on it as well, so I assume that kind of indicates that you can carve those parts individually. And we then have the monster entering some sort of enraged state. At this point, of course, player number three arrives, and this one's kind of interesting because it actually showcases a brand new weapon, which initially, from that singular gameplay snippet, looks like a dual blade, but if you guys uh, sort of watch this gameplay and see how it plays out, you'll actually see on the back of the hunter, it is almost like a staff, and then when they jump up and attack, you seem to be able to attack with that staff, and then in a moment, He's also going to put it into a different form. So this is almost like a, I don't know, like shape-shifting style weapon. It appears to be a staff, potential to be a uh, sort of dual blade, and also potential to be like a shuriken. We also see them then deploying like another Karakuri, which was like a little sort of rocket that fired into the sky and then did a flash, which I assume is like a flash bomb. And we then have, of course, the mine as well, which is the uh, explosive counting down one. And you can then see the uh, hunter changing that weapon into a shuriken, Fuma shuriken and then throwing that forward, which was incredibly cool. Definitely uh, like the look of that weapon. It's also quite nice just to sort of see some different styles of weapons as well. Like we've got a long sword, which seemingly changes into a chain blade. We've got an umbrella, which you know I haven't really seen before in a game. And of course we do have this sort of shape-shifting weapon. So I do like that everything we've seen so far definitely doesn't seem to uh, you know follow those uh, typical norms, so to speak, apart from maybe like the bow. Now the other part that's kind of quite interesting as well is uh, we're getting towards the end of this uh, this sort of hunt, but you can see uh, again also when you can sort of jump off those uh, those pillars, you get some powerful jump attacks. But this part, at the end of it, sort of uh, I assume the monster has been killed, and there's some kind of way to end the hunt, and you have this pretty cool animation. So all in all, pretty awesome. Definitely like what I've seen. Admittedly, again, I do want to go hands on sort of check it out even further. But I will say, actually getting to see the game sort of flow from the beginning to end, to actually sort of see a hunter start off, pursue the monster, explore the world. The world itself definitely looks fantastic. It definitely does look pretty vast. They did again say in sort of a recent interview, the game is not open world, but it does of course work around a more sort of zone based system a la Monster Hunter. But even so, even if it is just zones, it definitely looks pretty sizable. So definitely can't wait to sort of see how that pans out in gameplay. But for the time being, quick little sort of initial reaction to some of the uh, gameplay we've seen. I will be following up with a more sort of in-depth detailed video in sort of the coming days and whatnot. And of course, if you guys are excited for Wild Hearts, definitely keep it locked to the channel because we will definitely uh, be bringing you guys more coverage as and when we can. But for the time being, that's it. If you guys have missed some of the recent videos, be sure to check out one of these ones and keep it locked for plenty more.